Hello everyone, Xenia and Zima here, and welcome back to Let's Play Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. We're ready. Yes, what's on your mind? You got Let us finally take the fight to Malik. We can't go anywhere else. Our final battle. The space station is of an unknown configuration. It has no entry in the Republic. The Republic fleet must have gotten the message I sent as we were crashing into that planet. I'm picking up a transmission from them now. This is Admiral Thorne Dodonna to the Avon Hawk. Do you read us? Admiral Dodonna, this is Karth Anassi. We're receiving your transmission. Karth, I'm glad to see you're still alive. We've begun our assault on the Star Forge, but we're taking heavy losses. How did the Sith ever manage to build something of this scope? The Star Forge wasn't constructed by the Sith, Admiral. We don't have time for me to fully explain it. But that space station is far older than you can imagine. Maybe we should pull the fleet back and retreat. I don't know if we have the firepower to go up against this alien technology. You can't do that, Admiral. The Star Forge is a factory of immense power. It's been churning out the capital ships, snub fighters, and assault droids that have powered the Sith war effort. You have to destroy the Star Forge now, or you'll be fighting an unending wave of reinforcements. Then I guess we have no choice. But it isn't going to be easy. I can't even get our capital ships into position to start bombarding the Star Forge. The Sith fleet is too well organized. It's like they can guess our every move and counter our every strategy. It's because of Bastila, Admiral. She turned to the dark side and became Malak's apprentice. We suspect she's somewhere on that space station right now, using her battle meditation against you and your fleet. This is Master Vandor. A number of Jedi Knights have joined our fleet under his command. If Bastila is using her power to augment the Sith, then Malak's fleet is invincible. Our only hope is to somehow stop Bastila from using her battle meditation. How can we do that if she's on the space station? I will send a squadron of Jedi Knights to the Star Forge to find Bastila. Their small ships will be able to fly through the Sith blockade and dock on the space station. If they can find Bastila, they may be able to distract her attention from the battle overhead. That should allow you to move your capital ships into position for a final assault on the Star Forge itself. I hate to ask this after all you've done, Karth, but the Jedi may need all the help they can get. Don't worry, Admiral. The Evan Hawk and her crew are gonna see this through to the end. And may the Force be with you. Starforge, the final battle awaits. <sighs> yes, what's on your mind? I don't really know much. You got. One more talk of everyone. How may I be? Nope. <laughs> Julie? Got something up. It's a ship. To be more specific, it's your ship. You tell me. And that's about all I got to say about <laughs> that. Now, let's get. Oh. Never mind. Julie. Yeah, what are you. 
Hey, don't worry. A real war. There anything? Okay. Your. No one else speaks. There's only really two. Not worthy. Well, it's not really worthy. It's more of a case of the only ones that can really deal with this. You made it. Several Jedi have already gone ahead into the Star Forge. We have to strike while we still have the element of surprise. If we don't stop Bastila from using her battle meditation, the entire Republic fleet will be wiped out. Come on, before they... Damn! So much for keeping them unprepared. We'll deal with these Sith. You get into the Star Forge and find Bastila. Hurry! <laughs> Lord Malak, a team of Jedi have penetrated our defenses. Their fighters have landed on the Star Forge. This is not unexpected. The Jedi are formidable opponents. Send the Star Forge's battle droids to deal with them. Lord Malak, forgive me, but how can mere droids be a match for the Jedi? You underestimate the power of the Star Forge's droid army. Dispatch the droids. Of course, Lord Malak. The Jedi have invaded the Star Forge. Destroy them. Destroy them all. Not very discreet. Of course. Explode, thankfully. You didn't expect it.
for us to slaughter. I don't know why they don't notice that it's Revit, so the officer should know. Now, check the remains. Yeah, sometimes you just have credits, and I don't know why. That's why we want the license packs. Because Oh, this will be useful. The grenade is not so much. Less to do with how useful grenades are, more to do with grenades are not going to be really effective on the start. For the order! There we go. Deck two. Why have you disturbed me? I have news, Lord Malak, about the Jedi. Ah, the Jedi. Did my droids pass their test? Did they destroy our enemies? No, Lord Malak. The droids could not stop them. Strange. I did not think there were any among the Order who could survive an attack by an army of the Starforge's battle droids. It... it was Revan, Lord Malak. Your old master is with the Jedi here on the Starforge. Yes. That would explain why the droids failed. Revan was always strong in the Force. Very well. Send out all available troops, the apprentices as well. Do you... do you think they can stop Revan, Lord Malak? Of course not. But they will slow Revan down. That will give me the time I need to fully prepare the Starforge's defenses. I am curious to see the true extent of this space station's capabilities. One as powerful as my old master will make an interesting test subject. So powerful, Malik doesn't think that any of his forces will kill us. Oh, Oh, my God. 
that I can do. It's no good. So, let's keep going. Well, there's a chain gun. Let's ignore that. Let's go this way. That is what I can do. It's a replicator bin. Slice it up here. We get a choice of armor. Light, heavy, dure steel heavy. And the generate customized Jedi robes. This will depend on your alignment. But we can get We had deactivate sentry guns. Slice of computer. Get some nice generator robes. And now, what is it? Yes. I might as well check because I've never seen what Jolie would get if it's customized 
I know you can't wear either set of armor you can get from this. I'm, why not? Let's get one of each. Steel armor, and okay, so it gives us Star Forge robes. And if we go to them, better than the Kodoma roads, streets to light, all saves plus two, and plus five wisdom. However, Joe Lee cannot, and it's because he technically isn't white side. He is grey, so yeah. These robes actually look pretty sick. Saving. Master, why have you summoned me? Without my battle meditation, there is a chance the Republic capital ships could break through and attack the Starforge itself. This will not take long, Bastula. You will be able to resume your battle meditation soon enough. I only wanted you to know that Revan is here on the Starforge. Revan? But 
The Force is bringing us towards a confrontation with my old master. The Starforge has drawn our enemies together, so they may all die in a single glorious day. You must kill Revan to prove yourself worthy of being my apprentice, Bastila. You must finish what began in the Rakatan Temple. Yes, Lord Malak. I sense your fear, Bastila, but it is unfounded. The power of the Starforge will feed the dark side within you. It will give you the strength you need to defeat my old master. Stay here in the command center while you use your battle meditation against the Republic fleet. Revan will find you here in due time. It is inevitable. Of course, Master. I will not fail you again. You will triumph, Bastila. But even if you fail, it will give me the time I need to complete my preparations of the station's defenses. And then we shall see if Revan can stand against the full fury of the Starforge. <laughs> And... Lost. 
Revan, I knew you'd come for me. I'm Visper Tanstari, now Bastila. No, I'll never go home with you, Bastila. I know you can still be safe. You're wasting your time. I've seen the Jedi for what they are, weak and afraid. The Sith are the true masters of the Force. You've forgotten that lesson, Revan. Now you must pay the price. Here on the Star Forge, the power of the Dark Side is at its strongest. This time, you will not defeat me. We get no backup. We're on our own from this point forward. I see now why Malak followed you. Even though you're only a shell of your former self, you're still a formidable opponent. I can't even imagine the power you must have wielded when you were the Dark Lord. You were a fool to give it all up and follow the light side. I am as strong in the light as I ever was following the dark side. The dark side has made me stronger than I ever was before. I have a greater command of the Force than all but the most powerful Jedi Masters. As Malak teaches me the greatest secrets of the Sith, I will unlock more of my potential. Eventually, there'll be no limit to what I can accomplish with the Force. You will accomplish death and destruction with the Dark Side. Nothing else. Jedi propaganda. The Dark Side is only a tool, and Malak will train me in its use. Eventually, I will surpass my master and challenge him. If I am worthy, he will die by my hand. Then I will take on my own apprentice, and the cycle will begin again. This is the way of the Sith. It is how we assure our leaders are always the strongest and most worthy. You're doing yourself to end the cycle of death and betrayal. No, Revan. It is you who are doomed. Oh. So be it! You're growing weary. And sense it. Your strength falters. The light side is failing you while the power of the Star Forge re energizes me. Soon this will all be over. I have not fault, Basil. You've been misled by the dark side. The dark side will always triumph over the light. Malak has assured me of victory. You can't defeat me here on the Star Forge. You can't. This is not possible. You have rejected the dark side. You are a weak and pathetic servant of the light. How can you still stand against me? Why can't I defeat you? Now you can see, the dark side is no stronger than the light. Yes, I see you speak the truth. I am no match for you. Please, for the sake of what we once shared, do not make me suffer. End my life quickly. There is no other way. There's no need for me to kill you, Basil. What other choice do you have? I have fallen to the dark side. I am the apprentice to the Dark Lord himself. You cannot let me live. I was redeemed. Bastila, you can't beat you. You were a special case. The Council had no other choice. They needed you alive so they could discover the location of the Star Forge. It 
was an act of desperation. It was my responsibility to watch over you, to make sure you did not slip back into your evil ways. I was supposed to protect you from the dark side. You did protect me. But at what cost? In protecting you, I fell to the dark side myself. Is that the price of a Jedi's redemption? Must another of the Order fall to save me? I cannot allow that to happen. Please, this is too painful. Strike me down. End this now, quickly. There is no other way. Help us defeat the Sith battle. This will atone for what you've done. Yes, I could join you in your battle against the Dark Lord. That alone would not make up for all I have done. Yet it would be a step in the right direction. But how would you be able to trust me? How do you know I wouldn't turn on you when you face Darth Malak? How do you know the dark side wouldn't make me betray you again? I trust you enough to leave myself open to your attack, Bastila. You play a dangerous game. Are you certain you wish to take this risk? I could end your life and gain Malak's favor with a single stroke of my lightsaber. You won't. I know you still serve the lightsaber. You are brave and foolish. The dark side has wholly consumed me, and you will suffer for failing to see that. And we get to turn fast on that away. A break in the Sith formations. Green Squadron, move in. Green Squadron, moving in. Green Squadron's through. We've broken their lines. Bastila is no longer using her battle meditation against us. The tide has turned. Red Squadron, into the breach. Capital ships, reinforce their position. If we see Bastila, she would help out the Republic. We failed. However, the ending does not change. But in the bonus episode, because I do want to show the male side, because the male side does change the dialogue quite a bit, I will show that you can redeem Bastila. Much easier if you have high persuade. I don't, so yeah, there was very little chance I could convince her. There is a good, there is a way to do it with zero persuade. I usually have a bit of persuade, so it's uh, anyways. With that. that next time Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic we will go face Malak 
and watch the credits. This is Zeno Zimmer signing out.